Well, happy Mother's Day. This is Keystone, a.k.a. your street preacher. You know, first we want to start off by saying thank God for our mothers, and we want to get into a brief moment of prayer. Most gracious Heavenly Father, God bless all our homes, and we pray for all the mothers. Amen. Now, the Bible studies and scriptures come from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 5, and it reads, Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ, that in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge. So we got to be thankful for our parents and our mothers for how, you know, how they raised us. You know, right now, these are times we got to pray for all our families. And, you know, the mother is more than just the backbone. She helps us out. She wipes our tears. She's there for us. And she nourishes us, tells us the difference between right and wrong. Now, we're going to turn over here to 1 Peter in the Bible. Excuse me. 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 16 again first peter chapter 4 verse 16 and it reads yet if any man suffer as a christian let him not be ashamed but let him be but let him glorify god on this behalf so we got to glorify god and do not be ashamed to be men and women of god and you know pray and fast and believe and these are times we just can't be ashamed to be Christians. We gotta, we gotta be love, you know. We gotta love and give love and be loyal to, to, to God at all times. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now the ending Bible scriptures that I'm, I'm going to First Peter, chapter five, verses five through seven. Again, First Peter chapter 5 verses 5 through 7 and it reads likewise ye younger submit yourselves unto the elder yea all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility for God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. So right now, these are times we need to, you know, humble ourselves and, you know, listen to our elders. The reason why I preach this is because the elders of you is your mother and your father in today's Mother's Day. So, don't be too headstrong to not listen to your parents and let them give you good wisdom and knowledge. And don't your parents clothe you and help feed you. So, right now, these are times, you know, one of the good foods we do need is the Word of God and some good healing scriptures. So, I just wanted to bless us with that. And in closing, may God be with you and have a blessed and happy Mother's Day.